it is perhaps surely a, a coincidence that one of the biggest images in Qingdao at the Olympics is that of the tornado. It's on every bus stop, it's even on one of the biggest buildings in Qingdao. I'm here with Andy Rice. Andy, why is the tornado such a big deal at the moment? Um, tornado is a big deal because uh, some of the sailors have been developing in secret uh, a new so-called Code Zero Jenica. Uh, now, normally you think of making a bigger sail to go faster. These guys have actually made um, a Jenica that's almost half the size of a standard sail. And the reason being is that they found that if they make it flat and they make it small, they can actually carry it all the way around the race course. And so they can use it upwind in uh, conditions, say, of uh, 4 to 10 knots, which is typically what we've seen in Qingdao over the first week of the Olympic regatta. Well, that sounds like it's a, a bit of a no-brainer, isn't it, Andy? I mean, why, why would you want to choose anything else? Um, it seemed like a no-brainer in the last week, uh, but now, today, uh, we've just reached the end of tornado measurement, and just as we've done that, uh, we hear a forecast of the wind coming up to maybe uh, 12, possibly 20 knots over the next few days. Now this is where the code zero is no good because uh, you, suddenly you're, you're stuck with a sail you can't use upwind. Uh, you still have to use it downwind, but you have half the horsepower of anybody else. But initially the idea of using this code zero when we first got here and it was very light was that it would offer some benefits upwind in the very light air. Is that still the case? Yes, it is, and uh, so the gamble is, and, and, and I should say this gamble is now only for the Americans because of the four teams that had the option to use it, only the Americans have gone for it. The gamble for the Americans is uh, that they will get through the next three days not in great shape, they might even have some last places, but if the subsequent latter stages of the regatta are held in the sort of conditions that we've seen the first week of the Olympics in, then they should win every race, and quite comfortably so. So the opening race is going to be pretty important. I guess that we're going to reveal what's going to happen in the first few minutes of the race. Well, yes. Um, I think we were all hoping that we'd go out tomorrow in typical light wind conditions and see what one of these things can do. I think tomorrow, if the forecast is true, they'll come off the start line um, in typical format of just two sails flying, including the Americans. And then when the Americans hoist around the wind of mark, wherever they happen to be, I think they can only expect to lose places. Well, that's all going to be pretty interesting. Now, there's one other irony, I guess, with this tornado story, and that is that this is going to be the last time we see it, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so they've gone through this massive phase of development, and uh, this is the last that we'll see of the Olympic catamaran for the time being. Uh, there, there are still lobby groups trying to get it back into the Olympics, but it seems like the decisions have been made for Weymouth 2012, um, and we may have to wait at least eight years, if not more, to see the Olympic catch back in again. Well, as we film this now here in Qingdao, it's only been a matter of hours before we find out whether the sale works. We'll get back to you.